fi- let me finish with this. That's what you call respect. All right, because if I'm not going to show up at a church, they're going to be expecting me to be at a church. So respectfully, you'll say, excuse me, um, let them know I'm not coming in. Somebody calls me, oh, you coming tomorrow? No, I'm going to be on the street ministering the word of God. So let the pastor know. Remember, I go to more than one church. I just don't go to one church. And I told that to you guys before. So I'm just trying to figure out what is it that you guys are trying to do? It's going to hurt you, and eventually, because the Bible says, touch not my anointing, do them all harm. you got to read the Bible. God have dealt very harshly with people that bother people for no reason. So I'm just trying to figure out myself, what are you trying to do? And this goes to all you guys. What's your question? Have you ever had a position in the church where you were more than an elder? Or have you ever been an elder at a seventh day in the past, whether it's like a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, whatever. I'm always, remember what I said to you guys a long time ago, and I'm hoping you believe it now. My position can't be taken away from me. I came to church as an elder. I came to church as a minister. I came to church as a bishop. I'm already this. That's what I'm telling you. When I'm in other, and I told you guys that before, when I go to a person's church, I'm nothing but a filthy rag. Don't you remember me saying that? So you've never passed it at a church before? I passed it at my church. You've told us in the past that you've passed it at a church before. My church. My church. My church. You know El Shaddai. Excuse me, my church. And I told you the one on 125th Street. So I'm trying to see out what's the problem here. Okay, so you only pass it at Al Shaddai, right? And my church on 125th Street. Is 125th, is that Al Shaddai? Any church I go to is Al Shaddai. Okay, so you've only passed it at Al Shaddai. Yes, I said that before. I'm trying to figure oh. out what's going on. We just I'm just getting it for the record. That's that's all. What do you mean you're getting it from the record? I told you guys this over and over again. So I'm trying to figure out what are you trying to figure out here? Because you told us before that you passed it at other churches before. Yes, my churches. When I have hundred and twenty five dollars, those different areas, it's, those are my churches. And the same so thing I'm, with the church. Hold on, because you're talking again. It's like the African church. All right. I'm under them. So that's part of me. The African church, that's part of me, all right? That's part of El Shaddai. I'm their pastor. I'm not in Africa, but they're part of me, so I'm responsible for them. I'm the one that sends them Bibles. I'm the one that sends them money. So I'm trying to figure out, what are you guys trying to figure out that you're not comprehending? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I think we just want to understand a little more, but you're such a righteous Understand what? No, don't do that to me. Don't pantonize me. My question is, what is it that you're trying to figure out? Because if you're telling my church that I'm saying I'm a pastor, right, and then they investigate me and they find out that I never said it, you wasted the church time. And that's not fair. There's so many people out here that need the word of God. Because you're doing it again. You're trying to justify yourself. Okay? What I'm saying, your guys are doing this, and I need to know why. If I say I'm going out in the street and I'm going to minister the word of God, I'm going out in the street, I'm ministering. So anybody that suspects me at any Pacific church, i got to let them know I'm not going to be there. That's what you call respect. So what I'm trying to figure out, what business is it of you or anybody else? What are you trying to do? That's what I'm trying to figure out. And when somebody tells me I don't know the Bible and they don't go to church and they don't, just general, just general speaking, and they don't go to church and they don't know the Bible, I'm trying to figure out why do they do that? Well, I think they do that because, like, for example, we're asking you to give us the scripture for 
So forgiveness, and you didn't give us that scripture, Randall. So because that's why the Bible tells, yeah, but the Bible tells me not to do it. Do you understand? What scripture is that? The same one I give you. Study to show Psalms thyself approval. Excuse me. Study to show thyself approval. You ask me, and I'm giving to you, but you're running your mouth. Okay, you need to stop to talking. Right hold now. on, hold on. I don't care what you do. Okay, what I'm saying. Whatever you do, you get what you get. Do you understand what I'm saying? My question is like anybody else. When you go to Willis Avenue, right? They say if you go, right? Mm -hmm. They say you go and somebody gets hurt and it's because of you. It's on you. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm going to go there and ask the pastor for scripture. I'm not going to go. You're not, you're go not, there. You're not understand what I'm saying. You can pick any church. This is why I say you got to go in a room that deals with somebody your age. Okay, what right, about so when what the Bible says spread the word of gospel then? I'm going to say that. again to you, you can do what you want to do, but if anybody gets hurt and you put anybody's life in jeopardy because of your foolishness, it comes back to you. See, okay, I'm going go to you get I'm gonna go to the church in Brooklyn. If okay. you get, let me, you're not listening to me. If you get beat down or anybody gets beat down, it's because of them. You can't blame nobody. I'm trying to figure out what are you trying to do? See, I'm trying to prevent you from getting hurt. I That's what I'm trying to I do. Don't want, I'm not fighting you don't want the word of God, my, my brother. If you wanted the word of God, you'd be listening instead of trying to catch people. How can I listen to I'm someone that's not the scripture? How can I listen to you? If you're See, not that's what I'm scripture? saying. That's what I'm saying. The problem that what I'm upset about is that pastors, they just give you scripture when the Bible tells you not to do that. The Bible says, study to show thyself approval. When Jesus Christ How came into the city, I love when somebody I love, knows the word of God teaches them. I love, I'm doing it the way the Bible says. When Jesus taught the Bible, he didn't tell people where it was. Paul didn't tell. Nobody in the Bible tells you where the scriptures are. You got to study. The anointing of God is going to give it to you. You can't expect people just to give you something. That's why a lot of people don't know the Bible. I was just like your guys. Give me this, give me this, and I got all screwed up. But when I studied to show thyself, the Bible said, he that lacks wisdom, let him ask of the Lord, and I will give it to you. Is there any reason why you can't pray and ask God to give it to you? Did you think about that? Because that's in the Bible, because you don't know the Bible. All right. See, I'm I want to say this to you guys before I leave, because I got to get out of here. I got to be on the streets today. So what I want to say is this. I challenge any pastor. I challenge any pastor, anybody, to prove I don't know the Bible. And I guarantee I will prove to them I do. I mean, Pick Mr. David type, already has multiple times. David does he, school you. Um, he and never other, did. Another black brothers on my here. Brother, my brother, my brother, listen to me. He didn't. That's the problem. Oh, David and the other black brother, like fifty dollars, bro. No, you're not understanding. I put it on. <laughs> Yellow. Hollow. No cause, people. Yeah. <laughs>